Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? <laughs> I mean, are we all boiling? I'm boiling. I feel like that's sort of a given at this point. Do you need to mention it? Yeah, but no, but... Oh God. Hello, British Royal. Bonsoir. Uh, hello, Flicky Dicky. Caption gang, indeed. Ah. <sighs> Tonight we're playing some Burning Crusade. Are we excited? I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm not quite boiling, but I am stewing. It's good to know that there's a difference between the two. You can tell the variation, can't you? <laughs> oh, dear me. Yes, tonight we're playing Burning Crusade with the beautiful, beautiful... Oh, he's sat down. <laughs> the beautiful elf person. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? What a babe. What a love. Ah, I've taken to calling them... Um, Stroll exclamation mark on a paladin exclamation mark stroll like it sounds like a fanfic term I love it I love it because basically well stroll but but paladin right <laughs> your bonsoir voice sounds like the sausage surprise voice ah yes that <laughs> that one too good stuff ah oh, dear shall we get on with it I think we shall Boop. right uh, plans for today include I don't know well we've not got much left to finish off of ever song woods let me turn the sound on there we go uh, we've got the Scorched Grove down here, and then there's a Rune Warden, I think, to talk to between these two bits, and then it's the Ghostlands intro quest. We're pretty, we're pretty there. Um, we just need to turn in this party one. The classic party one. Um, but after that, yeah, it's just the Rune Warden and the Scorched Grove, and then we're into the Ghostlands itself. Ooh, I'm excited. Well, no, I am excited. I like Ghostlands a lot. It's obviously a lot spookier of a zone, and gloomier, and kind of fucked up and well dangerous but I love it I still love it I think it's great oh do you know what there's one quest I'm not looking forward to what's that one escort quest that's like in a cave or like in a in, in a cave that... no it's not, it's not a cave it's like an indoor <laughs> it's like an indoor troll bit there's like a troll bit like an indoor troll bit that's in a mountain it's kind of a cave but it's not it's very built up anyhow there's an escort quest in there that I'm not particularly excited for but nevertheless uh, hello, Stroll. Hello, Royal. Hope you are too. Hope you, hope you are having a lovely day. I am indeed, and I believe he is too. Thank you very much, Flicky Dicky. I hope you are too. I hope you're doing well. Other than the weather. The tomb. Yeah, it's a tomb of sorts, isn't it? There's sort of, you have to burn some corpses, and then there's a there's an elf in there that's like, escort me to the lodge, please. And the eternal sun I'm sure it'll be fine. Us. I just, escort quests aren't my favourite. Well, I don't think they're anyone's favourite. And then in classic as well, like, it's just going to be more dangerous. I'm not going to keep that elf alive, am I? Ah, well. Hello. The party never ends. Quite the energetic young elf, aren't you? I am indeed. Uh, Ogg's very adequate. Um, here's an invitation to the party. Uh, next time that you uh, drop in, make sure to dress up in something a bit more Remember festive. Ooh. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, we're level 12. Nice. Look at us. What a saucy, saucy elf. Level 12. <laughs> well, what's so saucy about level 12? But ha ha ha. Now we have an invitation, which we should probably go shove in a bank somewhere. Um, before we go to Ghost Sands, but at the same time, let's make use of this invitation real quick. I believe we can activate the fireworks launchers. No, we can't. We can activate the something, though. Is it drink? Can we drink? Can we eat? We can drink. <gasps> Licky Dicky, thank you for the 100 bits. Congratulations. Oh, bless. Thank you. <laughs> we can have the Sun Touch Special Reserve. Uh, which is deceptively light and fruity <laughs> with a magical aftertaste. <laughs> it's a bit loud around here. People don't stop laughing, do they? Oh, we can get the spring pot appetizers as well. Mm -mm -mm, which is uh, generic. <laughs> oh my god, they don't stop laughing, do they? <laughs> I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Uh, do let me know, by the way, if the game's too loud, the usual shit. Um, I did sound testing, but oh, we can get blood thistle. Oh no, we can get blood thistle. <gasps> How much blood thistle can we get? Five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's blood thistle petals, so it's not the actual blood thistle. It's just, you know, a little... Well, there's a food crate here. That's very irrelevant, but nevertheless. What's got in it? Well, food, obviously. Hey, shiny red apples. I will sell those for reasons of... I'm not going to use them. I'm a paladin. Oh, who needs food when you're a paladin? I mean, drink, I can understand, but food... Ugh, scoffs. Laughs in paladin. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear me. No, yes, Joel, don't eat the blood thistle, you. I mean, maybe I should keep it on me. I love how only blood elves can use it. I love how it's blood elves only. That's kind of amazing. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, link steak, link's meat. Ah, oh, we're doing cooking, aren't we? Where's me cooking at? 
Yes, I can make a link steak. Ooh, level five cooking. Look good, that's good. Um, scroll of spirit, scroll of protection. Cracked buckler and sword. That's our, that's our sword and shield combo. Nothing compared to our training sword, though, is it? We've got sharpening stones, we've got water, we've got bread. All the good stuff, really. Uh, we should, yeah, we don't really care about that invitation. We should probably keep it because we. It's a, it's a, it's a. I don't think we can get it back if we lose it or delete here. it. But, um, two copper, it was worth it. It was worth it. <gasps> We're close to getting our first gold. Oh, that's exciting. Close to a gold. Do you know what? If we're close to a gold and we're heading out of the village, then, like, it only seems appropriate that we, we take a pet fall. with us, right? Right? Oh, which one do we want? Which one do we want? The gold one, the red or the silver one? Obviously the golden one. The <gasps> I've got a pet. I've got a pet. I've got a pet. I've got a pet. Oh! Look at it. Hello, Golden Dragon Hawk Hatchling. <gasps> what a baby. Oh, we've got a pet. Now, there is no pet interfaces there, correct? There's no... Yeah, no, it's just an item that you, you, you use. Yeah, oh my god. Ah! <gasps> we got a pet. What a baby. We're going to keep you and put you on H, because then we can quickly dismiss and summon you, which is obviously something we need to do. Look at it. What a baby. We can't rename it, can we? No. Nope. Nope, it is just Golden Hatchling. Good for it. What's his name gonna be? Um, g g Golden Hatchling. I don't. <laughs> Goldie. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, I'm gonna delete both this all because it takes some inventory slot, and we're not about that life. Let's go cook some lynx meat and then waddle on with our lives. Do you know what? We don't need this bread. I was just talking about how we don't need healing. How we don't need um, food. It takes up an inventory see? slot. I don't want it. Salama, um. And if we can cook our own food, that's better and gives us buffs as well. Well, I mean, it's just perfect, isn't it? Shove the link steak there. I have baked egg, bar meat, bar meat, simple flour, and mild spices. Should we... Has a price. I mean, it's only like, what? Some, a little, a little, just a little bit of gold to make some bread. It's easy. Let's make some bread. At least until it goes yellow. I need to sneeze. I have sneezed. <laughs> How much bread can you make before it goes yellow? Find out, won't we? It's dead cheap to make, so I'm just going to do this just to get our skill up at the very least, you know? Uh, live the straight edge. No droogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. Maybe it's level 20, level 25? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, must be 25. Let's uh, do five more, because we can only buy it in batches of five, so, um, here. Yeah. <laughs> um, boom. Oh, it's not even gone yellow. Wow, really? All right. I'm not, look, I'm not gonna, we, we, we might as well keep going, right? It's not. <laughs> uh, do, what was it? 22 add nine. That's 31, right? Brain? Yeah, sure. Ah, there we go. They're all 30. It's capped out. Well, not capped out, but it's gone to yellow. Let's sell these. Uh, 39, um, 39, no, 31 copper for, like, five levels. I'm not going to complain about that. That's dead cheap. That's easy peasy. I love some spice red. Ah. Um, I may have just sold it to the vendor. <laughs> it's right. I, I gave it to the vendor with a note. The note said, uh, mail this to Flicky Dicky for me, please, thank you. So don't worry, it'll be coming your way, I promise. I, I swear I did not just throw it away. I would never do such a thing. God. Not me. Um, there's a mining note down here. Oh, look at a little pet following us. What a baby. I love it so much. It's so cute. Why so wee? It's, <laughs> it's so adorable. Ah, oh, dear me. Oh, I've got Gathermate, haven't I? Yes, I do. I just I just didn't stop that recently. Eee, look at that. Copper vein. I need to change my settings for it, though. I've been playing a fair bit of classic classic recently. I forgot that tracking is up here now in this version. It's, it's so funky seeing the differences. You're like, oh, oh, I can't. And I can track multiple things at a time. That's terrifying. It's terrifying. I love it. Ammunition. Oh, I love it. What a cute thing. Alrighty. Um, I need to change my settings as we waddle along. Uh, minimap, minimap, minimap. Icon alpha to like six. There we go. And uh, minerals. Gas clouds. Oh, there's gas clouds in, um, in bloody... Outlands, isn't there? Is it, is it Netherstorm somewhere? Or oh, they're all over the place, I think. I love that. There's gas clouds. Amazing stuff. 
Uh, I'm just going to make goth clouds like that color or something because I want minerals to be blue. I want blue minerals, please. Uh, we're heading down to the Scorched Grove, I believe. I was just sort of waddling in this direction without even thinking, to be honest. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been farming a lot of ore recently um, in Classic Classic because I've been needing it for uh, blacksmithing quests. And I had currently, last I saw, I had a bag full of iron ore, like, and full of copper ore and bronze ore and tin. Oh my god, it's just <laughs> got way too much ore on me, and I don't have anything to do with it. I could put it up in the auction house, but here's the thing. My classic classic server, like many classic classic servers, it's fucking dead. There's, <laughs> last time I checked, there was, like, 50 items on the auction house, total. Like, there was no more than that. It was just, oh dear. Um, Scotch Grove's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Scotch Grove. Find Lorena of Wind in the Scotch Grove in the southwest. She's at the other side of it. She's over here, isn't she? Is the Rune Warden down here at the very least? Or is the Rune Warden over there? I think... Oh! Another Rune Warden's here. Well, we'll talk to the Rune Warden then. Uh, during holiday season here in Sweden, they start selling this delicious spiced bread to celebrate Christmas. Ooh, sounds lovely. Um, you went blacksmithing. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went blacksmithing. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's fine. Sure, it'll be very useful. It won't. But I'll have fun. <laughs> well, maybe I'll have a time. Whether it's a good time or a bad time, I'll have a time. I have to go blacksmith on this character. It's my it's my it's my main in, in it's my it's my live character, but younger. They have to be the same. Well they don't have to be, they're a paladin for one, but that's not the point. Hello, ancient runestones. We need to place an infused a crystal, the runestone, and uh, defend it. Hold your head. And bring it back. Let's go do it now, why not? I reached the Armorsmith quest, and I was like, yeah, no, goodbye. Yeah, I don't know what quests it is I'm doing, like, name-wise, but um, currently I'm getting some plans off an orc in Ogrimmar. It's the, like, Barbaric Iron play, The ba ba Barbaric Iron set, I believe. Or some, you know, some shoulders for it and stuff. Uh, it's the last one I have to do to get the last one of that set, I think. And it's... Um, Four green iron helmets and four green iron shoulders and four green iron braces, I think, something like that. Here's the thing, I have a wonderful little add-on, which... Do I have a macro for that? I should do. Yes, I do. There we go. I have a wonderful little add-on called Notebook, which, as you can guess, adds a notebook. Um, <laughs> one for... Oh, look at that! One for the... Um, oh, God, there's dark reds here. They're, I mean, the green, so we can just waddle. We can just waddle. There, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, oh, God. I say that. Um, you've got your uh, account line notebook and your personal character notebook. And I've been making... I've been doing it real cool. I've been, like, um, looking at what I need to make, getting a calculator, and, like, adding up how many resources that'll be and just making a big list. And then I can just, like... So, if it, in total, I think it requires literally 100 iron ingots. So, in, like, okay, it's zero out of 100 iron. And I'm collecting it and filling it in. And, oh, it's been, it's been genuinely really fun. I'm, like, making this little, like work order and then filling in all the bits as I get them. Oh, it's really fun. I like it a lot. It's probably a waste of time and won't yield anything exciting, but it's so fun. <laughs> ba 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 iron set. Ah, yes. Ba 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 ba. Barbaric. Although, yeah, it probably sounded exactly like that, didn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's place a crystal and uh, defend it from some uh, angry people. Ta da! Aw, that's a cute little crystal, isn't it? Do you know what? Burning Crusade, you got... That's, that's genuinely impressive. That's a cute little crystal. Oh, hello. Got an enraged... <laughs> nearly call it an engaged wraith then. I don't think that's what it is. I, d I don't think it's engaged. I think it's enraged. There's a difference. All right, I'm just going to scooch my microphone down a bit. Oh, you can definitely hear that, can't you? I'm so sorry. Can we heal you at all, do you think? Or is it just us we can heal? I, I tried to... Why would I try and heal a crystal? I don't think that's ever... <laughs> I don't know how anything works. How are you doing, Crystal? Oh, got some more engaged wraiths on the way. There we go. Come here, you. I must bot. Ooh, I just killed that thing in one hit. I mean, I know they're greens and they're also, like, quite, um, quite weak because they're just part of the quest. They're just these little ones you're supposed to defeat in waves. I did not expect to one hit. That was amazing. All right, any more engaged wraiths? Or non-engaged. You know, single wraiths are also fine. Hey, we did it. Runestone energized. Let's go take it back. Um, I was going to say what's up there. That would be the Ghostlands, my dear. That would be the Ghostlands. I love the little symbols for the runestones. Look at them. It's like a little person or something. Oh my god, it's literally the icon that's on the front of the runestone. I'm so silly. 
<laughs> I was just like, that's a funky little symbol. It's literally the symbol that's on the stone. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're role-playing. Yeah, I'm like role-playing being an armor smith, but also it's actually very useful because I can tick off the list of what I need. It's great. I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, I don't expect it, uh, blacksmithing to yield particularly useful um, things, but I'm having fun doing it, so it's a, it's a start. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a drink. Wonderful stuff. Ooh, there's ore down there. There be ore on them hills. Ooh, we're in the dead scar. 100% we are. Let's uh, take this marauder while we do. Do you know what? I'm feeling good about our, um, our journey ahead of us. I am. I know I wasn't sure on what class to pick. I was like, oh, should I go hunter or a paladin? Because I can't go warrior. I'm glad I didn't go warrior. Like, I'm glad... Even if warrior was an option, I know it's not. Um, I'm glad that it isn't an option that we didn't do it because I am playing a warrior a lot on classic classic, so it wouldn't... For sure, I'd be able to look at the differences and go, oh, yes, there's some slight tweaks between Burning Crusade and classic, but at the same time, it probably won't be that exciting. I'd probably just be like, oh, yeah, this spell again. Like, <laughs> with Paladin, I get to see a whole new part of the game. It's great. I love it. I want to move this frame over. There we go. Oh, oh. Ah, yes. Mute my voice chat. I mean, do, but, like, at the same time, I was never going to use it. Alrighty. Paladin, because we're all pals. Hell yeah. What are the Paladin pals? Alrighty. Um, yes, runestones. We have power to the defenses. Should hold off the scourge a bit longer. Time. Really? There's quite a few bits of uh, scourge wandering through the dead scar. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what these runestones are doing these days, other than looking cool and vibrating ominously. Well, not vibrating. They're glowing. They're sort of the pulsing more than vib. <laughs> just a giant runestone, just having a bit of a shake. <laughs> Alrighty. Here's the thing, I am going to 100% um, Eversong, and I'm going to 100% Ghostlands. I'm going to die trying, right? I want to complete all of the quests in here and in, in, in Ghostlands, okay? Even if I have to, like, bugger off somewhere else for a bit and then come back at a higher level and just... <laughs> if some of them are a bit difficult, I still want to 100% these places because I love them and I do that on May. I do that on live. Like, I do that on live characters and it's so much fun. And, like, Tranquillant has a little reputation with it. There's a fucking reputation in the starter zone. It's so cute. I love it there. It's gorgeous. Um, but after that, I don't know what level that's going to leave us at. We're currently at level 12. We're going to, yeah, probably still be level 12 by the time we go into Ghostlands. Ghostlands is 10 to 20, is it? Um, oh, we don't have the level ranges on the maps. We don't know. But, yeah, it's roughly 10 to 20 as far as I understand. Um, I don't know what level will be when we leave there, because as far as I remember, there's quite a few quests in Ghostlands. It's not what you'd call an empty zone. And, you know, it's not Silithus. Uh, <laughs> it's chock full of stuff. There's the, you know, the entire um, stuff with Darkhan and Death Home, is it? Is it called Death Home? The little scourgey bit at the bottom. It might be called Death Home. Or I could be entirely wrong. A lot of the scourge names sort of meld into one. There's that bit. There's the two... Oh, God, there's the two um, abominations that march between the ziggurats. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Probably not gonna kill those anytime soon. God, I can't remember their names, but they will. As soon as I see them, I will be over the moon. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. They give us. I think that that quest gives us a ring of memory. Hello, what Miss Riverwind. You? How are you doing? My brother sent you. Probably. It's been a while, but yeah, probably. It was a difficult time for us. It was a very hard decision to burn the woods bordering the ghost sands to prevent the scourge's expansion. The Triots, who have been our friends for years, are now trying to uh, foster regrowth of the forest on the Scotch Grove. But we can't Keep let them do that. That's, you, that's genuinely pretty fucking sad. Like, they have to burn their own forest to stop the scourge from getting through. And then the Triots, the natural guardians, are like, oh no, the forest, we should build it back up. And we like, we're like, okay, but we can't let you do that. I'm so sorry. Like, that's so sad. Poor things. <gasps> Old white bark. There he be. I remember you. You drop a quest item for us, I think. You start a little quest for us. Let's give you a smack on the face. Or the trunk, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, as far as coastlands goes, I'm, I don't know if, how dangerous it'll be. I presume fairly. You know, it's, uh, it's going to be a step up, I would hope. But, um... 
like our chance is good. Disease. Can we get rid of those? <gasps> we can. Look at us curing diseases and forgetting that we're dying. And oh god, there we go. One healing spell later. Why did I try and tackle a level 10 and a level 9 at the same time? I mean, level 12, but still. I should have known better. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I feel good about our chances. I don't think we're... Uh, oh, God, it's a mace. Let's uh, ignore that for now. Oh, with a box pendant. Sure is. All right, let's kill some... Uh, uh, well, I suppose we can accept this, can't we? Might have made old with a box pendant. Uh, LR. It's just the... It's the elf back there, isn't it? River Runner, is it? Is it River Run? River? I, I literally said her name like moments ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, well. And pop. Yeah, I feel good about our chances in Ghostlands. We'll take it slow and steady. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do anything too silly, I hope. We're not gonna sort of rush into places and presume we'll be overpowered and then die five times in a row. I mean, I've done that before, but I'll try not to do it this time, you know. <laughs> We have a vague wisdom behind us, or at the very least, some knowledge. Here's the thing, though. I really shouldn't have done this, but um, half an hour before stream, I was like, all right, I've got half an hour to kill, nothing to really do. I know, it's time walking week on live. I'll go do some time, like, I'll do one dungeon quick, because I want to get my five done before Wednesday. So I'll just I'll just go do one. I should not have done that, because I'm playing on my, my warrior, my main, as a tank, and I'm... <laughs> We charged through Okindoon, we had a great time, it was super rapid. Um, we pulled loads of things at once, we had no problems, and I really shouldn't have done that before playing Classic. Because now I'm a bit too much in the mentality of like, yeah, we're powerful, we're cool, nothing can kill us, let's just pull everything at once, and that's <laughs> it's a very dangerous mentality to have in Classic. Let's drink some water, we kind of need it. We kind of need it. That's a very dangerous um, thought process to be uh, having on Classic, and oh dear. I hope I haven't brought it with me. Do you know what I could do with some stronger water? I don't... Yeah, 151. That's the, that is the very basic one, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Should be able to find some tranquil in it, I imagine. At the, uh, the innkeeper. Hello, with the keeper. How you doing? <laughs> Let's bop you to death. But uh, so yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried, because I know there's quite a few... Um, there's quite a few areas in Ghostlands that are deadly, like oh, the entirety of the Dead Scarf one, but like there's the village up in, um, where's it gone? There's the village up here, and then there's like a village over here, there's a night elf area somewhere over here, and oh god, it's just, <laughs> I just know I'm gonna be like, alright, charge ahead, we are paladin, we are strong, you know? And we're just gonna go get ourselves killed, it's gonna be heartbreaking, but inevitable. I'm not buffed. Should do that, shouldn't we? There we go. Do you know what, it's so... It's, it's, here's the thing, I was about to say something incredibly obvious and stupid. It's very different playing a warrior and a paladin. No shit. But like, <laughs> what I mean by that is, I have been playing a lot of WoW Classic over the week, and the weekend, um, on my warrior. And, oh my goodness, it's so nice to have Blessing of Maya over here, because it's, it costs mana, right? But we always have mana. It regenerates up. And it lasts for 10 minutes, which isn't very long. But it's better than my battle shout on my warrior, who it costs 10 rage to cast, so I only I can only cast it sort of in combat really. And it lasts two minutes at base, and it's not it's not very long. It's in fact quite rubbish. I always forget to apply it because I'm always busy fighting things. I'm like, well I'm in combat, I've got I've got better things to spend my mana on, you know, I don't want my rage even. Oh dear me. So it's nice to have that at the very least, you know. However, I'm too used to having overpower on my warrior, so every time I see an enemy dodge, my brain has been trained to, um, to when that dodge text appears, to go, I can cast overpower now, and it does a lot of damage. That's good. It's exciting. And, um, a couple of times already, I've seen the enemy dodge something and gone, all oh, right, overpower, wait, oh, no, I don't have that. Oh, no. That doesn't mean anything. That actually is a bad thing. It just means the enemy dodged, and that's not great. That's not ideal, you know? Oh dear, yep, it's so good too. It is, isn't it? Attack power by 20, not gonna <laughs> overpower, execute, yeah, the good stuff. <gasps> oh, the good stuff. It's so much fun playing my warrior on that, I love it. Demoralizing shout is the best thing. I will, uh, <laughs> it lasts like, I've talented it up, so it lasts like 38 seconds, it reduces attack, it costs like 10 rage, 15 rage, it's dead cheap, and like all enemies within however many yards just have a melee attack power Our reduced, it's great, I love it. Fall. It has saved my life many a times. Slam, 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 yeah. 
I've actually been using Heroic Strike quite a bit because my slam isn't it's quite a low talented version of slam compared to my Heroic Strike. So. <laughs> Hello, old Riverbark. Riverbark. Mm, yes, Riverbark's pendant. <laughs> oh dear. She's a bit sad about that. I mean, understandably, but um, uh, brings back memories of a different time, a better time. Unfortunately, the memories are the last thing I need right now. I want you to bury this by the runestone in the Scotch Grove. It was there that I first met the tree and elder. Put my old friend's memory to rest. Let's do that. It is sad, isn't it? Let's go bury it. Does old Witherback's ghost come up and bite us when we do that? I can't. Oh no, do they like appear and say thank you? I can't for the life of me remember. What spec are they? A good question. Um, I would love a, I'd love to say I have the answer to it, but I don't really, I suppose, I think I've got, like, one point in protection for some fucking reason, um, and, like, three or four points in fury, and the rest in arms. I think they are mostly an arms warrior. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, I just pick the ones that look cool. Although, I think I've sort of, all the talent points I've got from my recent playing, because I sort of, I got to level, like, what? 30 or something and then just stopped for a while 32 I think it was um, and the recently I've got to like 36 now so those those talent points I've pretty much put in Fury because I'm like oh there's a, there's a thing that makes my battle shout last a little bit longer I'll take it <laughs> you know because it's something I should be using battle shout I just never want to because it feels rubbish oh dear um, but yeah most have been using arms talents I think uh, let's go to the rune stone that's what we need to be tis tis you have one big weapon or two smaller ones. I have one big weapon. It tends to be the one I use the most. But I have got two smaller ones recently. Ooh, chest, 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 chest. You cannot hide from me. Um, I have got two smaller ones recently. Do you know what? I might log in in a bit and uh, I'll show you. I might, I might show you at the end if, if we're still around. Let's see. I got a bag. Oh, it's probably not a very good one, is it? I don't think I have any bag slots, quite frankly. I think they're all full, aren't they? It's a six slot bag and they are awful. It's a two slot upgrade. We shouldn't really sniff our nose up at that. We should sniff our nose. Do I have do I know how words work? No, clearly not. Uh, we should not turn our nose up at that. Two slots are kind of invaluable. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, they do attack us. I <laughs> couldn't remember if they appeared and were like thank you for putting me at rest, or they appeared to smack us in the face one more time. I it was the smacking option. It was the Oh there they go. It's actually you know what? It was both. Uh, what is done is done. I have failed my people. You haven't failed anyone. Oh, white bark, you poor soul. No longer belong to this world and must admit defeat. Land has forever changed and nothing will ever be the same. Leave the pendant here with me. Maybe one day, long after the elves are gone, a new tree will grow on this very spot. Oh, dear. That is so sad, isn't it? Like, it's not even a peaceful, re like, a happy resolution. It's just, with the bark says, this is... Fucking sad, I hate it. I'm tired of violence. I'm tired of being dead in this scorched grove. Just bury my pendant. And then maybe one day things will be a bit better when the elves are gone. Like, they've lost their hope in elves. Like, like the people that they were once friends with. And, like, you know, the pendant was made by that person for that person. You know, it's ugh, it's so sad. Like, they've so fucking given up on it. But, like, after the elves are gone, that's when they see things getting better. It's when the elves are gone. It's so sad. I hope... Uh, old white bark finds a place in Arnold being a happy treant over there. You know. Maybe they are in Arnold Maybe their name is there and I just haven't seen it. Alright, that's the Scotch Grove done. Oh, it's just missing the ghost lands now. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's get on with it. Ooh, it's exciting. Uh, that's a belt. Doesn't got anything exciting. That's some more copper ore we need to shove somewhere. We can sort this out now, can't we? Yes, 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 yes. Let's put all my tools up there. I'm being chased by a treant. Let's ignore them for now. Hope they go away. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they've gone away. Uh, healing potion, hearthstone, food. These are all good supplies to have. Yes, yes. Dragonhawk. Tell you what. Let's put the sort of the non-consumable ones up here and consumable ones in this bag of their own. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that, I do. Um, missing the ghost lands is sort of here, I believe. Let's waddle over that way. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And then I'll put these up here because they're consumables. That's something to show in the bank. These are exciting, profession-based exciting times. Uh, these are also that. And this is just rubbish to sell. Wonderful. Look at us go. What's that? The Sunstrider book satchel. Do you know I should keep that and throw it in my bank? Yeah, I should definitely do that, because if I need more bank slots at some point in time, it'll be, it'll be handy to have. All right.
die. Lost in the ghost sands. Are you down? Yeah, you are down this way. Ah, there's an undead, isn't there? <gasps> Apothecary Thedra. Hello, hello. Sorry, I think I got distracted. Um, I do have one big weapon. That's sort of what I mainly use. But I recently got a, um, a rare drop. Um, dropped a dagger that was like really cool looking and I was like, oh, I want to use you. So I've got a two, I've got two two-handed weapons Anaria, that I've been using sure. as well to sort of, um, I feel so cold. Oh no. <gasps> Korea Dawn Strider, you do not look well right now. Oh dear. So I've been trying to sort of work those up a bit and I still can't, I can't tell which is better. I recently got a quest reward from, um, I think it's like from a uh, chain in Hillsbrad, is the Battle of Hillsbrad or whatever it is. Finished that chain off and went to Varimathras. It was like, well done and gave me a sword which shoots a um, shadow bolt out of it which was very very cool but it was honestly not as good as my sword that I just made from blacksmithing which is something that never happens so I was very excited for that but also sad because I was like oh cool shadow sword I can't even I don't want to I want to use it but I can't it's rubbish you know, it's <laughs> anyhow getting distracted hello. hello hi apothecary the fallen courier I've done I've, um, look, leveling up as a blood elf, I've seen my fair share of fallen couriers. It's just good to know that this one's not dead. What are you standing around for? Can't you see this boy needs immediate attention? Gosh, Let's go get no. some blood. It's, it is blood, isn't it? You get some plagued blood from just in the, just over the bridge. Plagued blood sample, that'll be it. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a drink before we go over here. Ah, amazing stuff. <gasps> Elrendar Crossing! one of my elves. Well, it's not. It was at one point, but yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Good stuff. Uh, play Warrior on TBC and Limit or on Classic 2, really? Ah, oh, that's amazing. Hello, did you uh, clone them over? That's a thing you can do, right? I can't for the life of me remember. Ah, oh, we're getting Lynx meat as well. That's professional. Excellent. Uh, that's so cool. What's your warrior? Tell me all about them. Are they? What are they? What? What, what type of warrior are they? How, how do they live life? What's their sort of their happy go, happy times? To be fair, you can teach me all about. Um, could, could you tell me how to warrior? Because I'm not very good at it, obviously. Um, I don't understand classic things at all. I just go, yeah, this looks cool. When I get to 60 or towards 60, whenever that is, goodness knows when. Um, I do plan on looking at a guide and like redoing my talent points and saying, okay, these ones probably don't make sense, but you know. I'll have a look at it when I get closer to max level or if I'm really struggling, but for now I'm I'm just happy to just fuck around and to do dumb shit. These bats drop it, don't they? I think it's just all the plagued creatures in this area, isn't it? Maybe it's the lynxes. We should read the quest text. <laughs> oh, that tends to help, doesn't it? Alrighty. Um, from beasts in the ghost lands. Ah, it's just any beast then, isn't it? Uh, hood plague bleast. <laughs> plagued bleasts. Mm, brave. You and your words. Very good. Da 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 da. Uh, but yeah, do you think you could, like, <laughs> tell me how bad I am, basically? I don't plan to change much until I get to max level or close, but, um, <laughs> if I hop onto my warrior at some point, will you tell me how should I am? <laughs> oh, dear. Tell you what, we might do that in a little bit, actually, because, um, I don't want to, uh, have to make you feel like you have to hang around just to tell me I'm shit, you know? <laughs> we can, we'll do that sooner rather than later, if you think. Uh, her name is, uh, Limikuka Whitethorn. Oh, amazing. I love her. She sounds great. Is she a... Uh, Torn? Human? Dwarf? Other races? Anything? Who are they? Tell me all about them. I want to... <laughs> if you want. It's okay if you don't. Alrighty, let's focus on this. Da -da -da -da. A lovely heal. Plus 90. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. On live, I do not play with combat text at all. I turn it all off because I... It's just scream clutter and... What I go for in WoW is as minimal as possible. I want as few things on the screen as possible, with it still being understandable. You know, I want the important information, but nothing else. So I turn combat text off because, quite frankly, it never provides anything useful. It's just loads of screen numbers. Doesn't mean much to me. But on Classic, it does genuinely, you know, it's... it's the numbers are a lot smaller, so it's a lot easier and more helpful to see. All oh, right, like I can tell that this weapon's doing. Oh, look at that big crit! You know, it's it's nice to see the numbers because the numbers genuinely really do matter. And it's this scale, and quite frankly, when everything's this dangerous, you know. Wow, this plague blood does not drop at all, does it? I know they buffed the drop. Well, I assume they buffed the drop right at some point in time when they made you know life a little bit easier overall. But um, <laughs> ah, it's really shit, isn't it? I love it. I love it. The streams are some of the highlights. I'm not going on it. Oh, bless you. God bless you. That really does mean so much. Thank you. Oh, dear. I've been, um... been spending a lot of time over the last few days, um... continuing my, um... 
my quest to upload all of my old streams to YouTube and uh, it's going well. I'm nearly at the end of last year. I'm nearly at the end of 2020, which was the year I started. So I've done from August to... Hey, another one. Uh, I've done from August to... We're in December now, just at the start of December, which is very exciting. Uh, <laughs> just got a few more old bits of up, but it's, it's kind of disheartening. Like, because I see my old streams and I go, oh god, this sound quality's awful. I mean, it's not great nowadays. Ooh, two drops in a row. We should be so lucky. Um, my sound quality is not amazing these days, but I like to think I've learned a bit, at the very least. Like, it's not unbearable to listen to. I don't... <laughs> I'm definitely not educated on the uh, subject, but I like to think it's tolerable. Um, <laughs> I'm just listening back to my old stuff and going, oh, this is horrible. Is it? Is there any point even uploading this? But here's the thing. The reason I'm putting them on YouTube isn't necessarily because I think it's worth watching or people will watch it. I just want to have them... I just, I just like having a back It's just nice to have that... The physical reminder, or digital, I guess. You know, just I want the, I want to be able to look at my channel and be like, oh yeah, here's all of the streams I've done. Like here's, here's how many streams, here's how many hours I've put into this to get this far. Like, I just like being able to see that, you know. And honestly, I like numbers. <laughs> It'll be nice to look at it and go, oh yeah, I've done a lot of streams. This is good stuff. It'll make me feel better about how much time I'm spending on this. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think where I was starting with this discussion was oh yes you were saying uh, my streams are highlights which is amazing and I love that so much thank you that really does mean the world but it especially means the world at the moment because like I say I've been rewatching a lot of my old stuff to upload it and oh bye <laughs> it does not fill me with confidence it fills me with confidence that I have grown since then but it it, it doesn't fill me with that much confidence I'll be honest a copper vein let's go nab it I know I finished our quest but if we can just just sneak this on the way uh oh uh oh the dead scar. We could just sneak down under this waterfall and uh, poke it real quick. There we go. Oh, the waterfall vanishes. Well, I suppose they do that when you go through them. I saw. I'm. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you happen to see one of those streams. They are <laughs> top tier garbage. I recently one of the most um, memorable, one of the more important ones that I've uh, just uploaded is the. Um, the launch stream I did for Shadowlands. Mm. It was, um, we sat around for about half an hour, 20, 27 minutes, I think it was, until uh, just before Shadowlands launched. And then we did we did the full Moor experience, and then we did the little tour of Oribos, and we just flew off into Bastion, and I saw Bastion for the first time, and then I ended the stream. So I've just uploaded that. And that, that that's, it's not a bad one. I mean, the microphone's a bit shit, quite frankly, and I definitely should have fiddled with a few more settings, but... It's nice to have that one. I like those key ones like that. You know, there's a lot of filler streams where it's just like, I'm playing Dark Souls again for a bit. You know, it's not. <laughs> there's a lot of streams that aren't particularly exciting. It's nice to have those key ones, you know? They're like, oh yeah, this is the Shadowlands launch stream. That especially, I like having that memory uploaded. I like having that memory just saved away somewhere, recorded. So I can look back at it and be like, oh, I was so excited for this expansion. Still am, but you know. It's nice to have that first reaction just sort of saved in a box somewhere. It feels nice. Anyhow, I'm wittering on. Shall we? <laughs> Hello, Apothecary. Sorry, I'm getting nostalgic about things that happened less than a year ago. Uh, just in time. I was about I was about ready to start digging a hole for our friend here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Goodbye. Hey, you've leveled up. We've got talents, haven't we? Fuck. <laughs> we were just talking about these. Four whole talent points. I haven't spent a single one yet, have I? No. Need to think a bit Delivery further about them, I think. Ahead. Delivery to Tranquilin. Hello. You're not going anywhere just yet, handsome. Not until you regain your strength. Oh, Dawn Strider. You poor courier, you. Two weeks to continue. Carry a dire warning from Regent Lord Theron. In the form of a letter. Okay. We shall go and be a courier. What will I get you back? Oh. It's, it's just another six slot. Boo? I don't... <laughs> ah, well, look. They're giving us bags. I'm not going to complain. Sure. It's a bag that isn't an upgrade for us, but we can put it in our bank if we really want to, you know. Grats, thank you very much. And our rep with Tranquil and started. Oh, I have to track this. It's so much fun. I love that they... I j it's such a silly little thing, but, like, a reputation for a leveling zone that, like, gives genuine rewards makes me so happy. Although, my reputation bar is... Uh, it's not got the um, visibility settings that I like, which um, it fades it away out of combat, or unless I mouse over it. Um... But when in combat, it pops up. 
So where's reputation bar? Visibility, custom conditions. Here's the thing, I don't actually know what these means. I just I just copy pasted off the internet somewhere. I just found a forum where someone was like, I would like my bars to do this, and I stole their stuff essentially. Um just gonna do that so I can just nudge you down a little bit. There we go. That that feels better. Groovalicious. Now we can look at it and go, ooh yes, a bar. <laughs> it doesn't tell us anything when we're moused over it, so we're better off just doing this, quite frankly. But it's 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 there. Hidden away in a corner. Oh, another elf. <gasps> They've got a lynx as a pet. Oh, Our enemies will <laughs> fall. <laughs> All right, here's a delivery from Silvermoon itself. Waited for a response from the region lot for weeks. Let me see. What's this? A dark presence? He senses a dark presence in the ghostlands. No kidding. <laughs> I love that. I love that. This is the important letter. Lot Lothmatheron sat up in the lofty towers of Silvermoon, looking out across the world, going, Hmm, yes. I think there's some dark shit going on in Ghostlands, like... <laughs> yeah, no, I think they know. I th I think they're aware. Ooh, an upgrade. Don't mind if I do. The Forsaken. No, it seems strange, but these Forsaken are here to help. You should speak with their leader, High Executor Mavron. He's in the tower on the west side of town, and Paladin, when you're done talking with him, return to me. Got some uh, shit to be doing. Okay. You're going to send us off to the villages, aren't you? Oh, I remember that. Good stuff. Uh, it's it's so much fun having the like the the classic experience the old stuff like you know the old talents and leveling and quests and abilities and all that good stuff um mixed with a zone that I just know like I know where everything will be I know all the quests will be and stuff but it's it's just old it's old and I love it <sighs> look at the old forsaken model what a babe oh what a love I adore him hello the forsaken uh, Dark Arn, yes, 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 yes. Thank you for telling us about the big bad boss at the end. I know that we forsaken appear monstrous to your eyes, but I assure you, we mean your people no harm. We are here because of a com common enemy, Dark Arn the traitor. He has returned and now commands the scourge that are invading this land from his steadfast death home. It is called death home, I knew it. To the south. Our leader, Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, originally hails from these lands, and in fact, used to be an elf. <gasps> Gasp. Well, I mean, she still kind of is. Anyhow, not the point. Uh, she has a history with the Dark Arn and wants him dead as much as your people do. We will defeat him together. Okay. Uh, go back. Okay. Uh, I love questing in Ghostlands, but I love Tranquillin because off memory, yeah, look at all these quests. All these tasty, tasty quests. Mm. I want to eat them all up. Well, I don't, that'd be weird. But I want to do them, <laughs> at the very least. Alrighty, any... Uh, no, we have any quest thing. uh, crafting to the things, have we? Hello. There you are. Just in time. There is much to be done. Go to a village. Kill things. Awesome. Named my Tauren uh, Lumikuka. Am I pronouncing that right, by the way? Please do correct me if you need me. Uh, made bright white. Uh, made them bright white because in Finnish it means snow flower. Oh, that's so cute. That's so, so cute. I love it. Oh, bless. Tomba supplies. Uh, Rathis Tomba supplies and return it to him. Ah, that's near a broken down cart, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Hill my cart. Yes, it's, it's sort of past uh, the ziggurats. You sort of go over there and it's over there, I think. Oh, I love knowing where things are. It's what so now? fun. Hello, hello. Goods from Silver Moon City. Uh, yes, Tillis. Oh, this is the... <gasps> is this one of the first Flight Master quests? Is it? Did those... No, those definitely existed in Classic as well, didn't they? Yeah, no, they did, didn't they? They totally did. What am I saying? Like, you know the ones when you leave your first starting area, like... Like on Teldrassil, I think it's the only one I can think of at the moment. The, uh, Teldrassil, when you leave the sort of the, the very very start area and you're walking out into the, the bowels of Teldrassil itself, and there's a person in the in the gateway that's like, "Hello, I've got some goods for an inn," and you take them to the inn, and the inn person's like, "Take these to the city," and you flight master the city, and the city person's like, "Take it back to the inn." You know, you, you know them. Embrace the shadow. Them ones. I think this is one of them, isn't it? Yeah. Probs. Let's go take all of the quests we can. Because, quite frankly, I want them. The innkeeper's here. A wanted poster for Knuckle Rot and Luzran. Oh my gosh, yes. <gasps> Absolutely, lootly. And it gives us rings. Ah. Three intellect and spell critical, or three stamina and critical. Ooh, I don't. I mean, I presume the stamina and the crit one would be better for us, but intellect, I mean, we're a paladin. It's not. Increases mana and spell crit. That's not really a bad thing. Especially for things like judgment. 
There's a rogue here wearing a dress, and I am so fucking good with that. That's amazing. Everything has a price. Everything Keep has a price. Your wits about you. Anyone else ever find that line a little bit seductive? <laughs> just walk up to an innkeeper and he just goes, Everything has a price. Like, um, okay. What do you see? <gasps> the chef. Oh, there's a quest here for a recipe, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Is it upstairs or is it this guy in a few more levels? I can't remember, but there's, there's a quest that gives us a we recipe. We will have justice. <sighs> Exciting stuff. Let's cook some link steaks. The fire is over there, isn't it? Yeah, it'll do. Used to be very insecure playing female characters a lot. A lot of my friends would make fun of me for being a male but playing females. But they're so cute and I will play what I want. Absolutely, Luli. Here's the thing. <laughs> Criticisms like that are, first of all, dumb as fuck. Um, but second of all, they just... They're so they were at the time, but they are even now. They're so dated. Like, who the fuck actually cares, right? Who the fuck looks at someone and says, Oh my god, you spend your free time playing a character that looks cute. Like, oh no. What the <laughs> that's the worst thing ever. People playing games how they want to. God, that's... Oh, we hate that. Wait, what? <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, it never made sense. The Plague at Coast. Oh no, Murlocs. Oh no, Murlocs. Oh, well. <gasps> quartermaster? No, where's the quartermaster? Is that they up here? Ah, where's the quartermaster? Give me that reputation, please. I want it. Do they fucking exist? Do they exist? Am I? Did I? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was like, did I completely uh, make up this person? No, I did not. Oh, look at this. And they get mail as well. Yes, 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 yes. We can buy shit from them. I mean, I don't know if we will. We probably will, quite frankly. It's it's cool stuff. Oh, the soot crown. Oh, it's... <laughs> Hello, Provisioner of uh, Redigar. You look particularly um, happy to be here. Good for you, dear. Good for you. Um, we got a girdle. We've got a chest piece. <gasps> Two-handed sword. Oh, and it sends a shadow ball. Oh, well, we have to get that. But it only requires friendly? Really? <gasps> oh, remind me to get that fucking thing. Look at that. It's probably gonna, We're probably going to replace it, let's be honest. But, oh, my God. I have to get it. I have to get it. It's called a flamberge. Whatever the fuck that means. It's definitely not how you pronounce that as well. Oh well. Let's go do the flight master quest, and then I should probably yeah head back to the bank because I've got I've got some I've got some Victory rubbish to get rid of quite frankly ahead. before we get started in here proper. You know, and if we're if we're taking Death the flight master over there, anyhow, us. it makes sense. Farewell. Let's go. I remember making my first Blood Elf and going through the Ghost Sands, getting that sword. That sword completed my journey. Good stuff. Do you mean the uh, the Tranquil on one? The uh, the one from the Reputation Vendor? I believe... Is there a two-handed sword we get from killing Darkan as well? I seem to remember some sort of... Is it a blue sword at the very end or something like that? Like a blue quality? I can't remember. I'm very excited to find out. I love... It just... Yeah. Ah, oh, good stuff. Um, I just... I love these two zones together because they feel so... So isolated, and I mean that in a good way. Like, obviously they are, because they're first of all on an entirely separate map, and you have to take a loading screen. But like, I just—they feel like such a contained experience. Like, it's so good and so tailored, and it's just elf the entire way through, right? Like, I don't think we're gonna get many uh, maces as a reward and stuff like that. Like, I think it's mostly swords and things, because that's all we know how to use at the moment. I think I could be entirely incorrect there, but like just oh, it's just such a good experience like the, all the questing in here is gorgeous and fun and you go to ghost sands and you get your first reputation and there's great quest rewards at the end like there's actual quest lines and like story being told and like oh. i'm speaking absolute bullshit but can you tell i love these zones <laughs> can you tell i'm i bloody love everything to do with them they're just so good to quest through i love doing it on live and the fact that i get to do it on classic where it like carries extra weight somehow just feels amazing like this is when it was designed for this is when everything is balanced or the this is the balancing and the tuning and the experience that these quests and these rewards and these vendors and everything is designed for and it just feels so good to do it where the fuck are we going uh, <laughs> to um sathrin azurdon in silver moon city uh in the bazaar got it <laughs> I could have walked past this person, quite frankly. I was too busy gushing about elves. I don't know. <laughs> oh, did you get a racial award? I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for that. You have no idea. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I mean, I, I'll be very sad when we have to replace it, but it's one of those things, if you do get that fancy sword at the end, I'm going to shove it in my bank and keep it forever. 
Aurelia. Maybe not the Vendasard off of the... Um, I should go to the bank first. Maybe not the uh, Nessus... I'm so sentimental when it comes to keeping shit like that. Like, I've already kept... <laughs> My starting armor because I want to. Anaria Shola. I want to be able to dress up in it one day and be like, "Look, it's my pretty L shit." You know, <laughs> I want to be able to dress up like that. I got the shield as well. Oh, dear me, I'm such a sucker. But I love it. I do. I do. I got a sword. Ah, oh, well, we don't need a sword. Um, I'm really sentimental. Dumb shit like this, though. I really am. Have we? We didn't learn first aid, did we? No, but we don't want to. We're a pal. Where a paladin needs to use the first aid. Um, I'm just going to purchase one bag slot. We can't afford another, and that's probably for the best. I'm going to put my sixth slot in there. My fourth slot in the other bag. There we go. And I can start saving a little bit of space at the very least. We want to put the invitation away. Uh, I do it too. I always do. Yeah, especially in times like like this, like, like in Classic, when there isn't transmog. There isn't ways to retrieve these things like a lot of these things are you know you get them once and you've got them and you have to if you delete it it's gone you know it's ah, there's such there's extra weight to things somehow there really is when everything is so like inventory space and like gold and everything is so scarce compared to live things carry a lot more weight and that's a good thing and a bad thing absolutely but you know it's ah, i love it it makes me extra sentimental somehow uh, on my retail show, and I have the starting gear from Vanilla. Wow, really? <gasps> It'll always be his kilt. That's so cool. It makes it, it... It a little bit breaks my heart that I didn't play back then, but at the same time, if I did, I know that I would be hyper-stressed when they're like, oh yeah, Cataclysm, we're revamping and removing a lot of things. I know I would be hyper-stressed in that situation. Like, oh my god, I have to go do everything, all of my old shit, and get it all. Like, <laughs> I would be an absolute hoarder, 100%. More than I already am. Um goodness me. All right, uh, let's shove stuff in a bank. What was I doing? <gasps> oh dear, silver bar, got two of those. More linen cloth, I'm probably not gonna use. Uh, blacksmithing, 35. What are, we, what are we like with blacksmithing? 28, ooh, <sighs> we're close. Let's make some rough grinding stones. Yeah, we've got a load of sharpening stones. Let's make some grinding stones. Should we, can make, we could just make them here, quite frankly. Um, and if we get to, <laughs> like, yep, dear me. If we get to 35, we could definitely just learn this recipe. Copper chain vest. Ooh, exciting. Hey, we might get to 35 as well. We might, we might. Uh, it just saves me having to keep things in my bags and stuff, you know. Save a bit of space already. I know we've got a fair bit at the moment, but let's let's look ahead to the future, shall we? Let's be sensible. Um, that's a quest item. <gasps> I am very silly. We don't... Oh, th th this is a four-slot bag, and I'm just wandering around with it. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Silly, silly me. I, I just completely blanked. I was like, yeah, no, we've got... Everything's six or above, completely ignoring the one that is definitely not six. Alright, let's open my bars. Enable the bag bar. Shove that one on. There you are, let's just keep bag bar turned on, because it's yeah, it's still got the visibility settings. There we go, that's much better. What was I doing? What was I doing? I'll put that one in there in case we want more. Bag bags. Bag bags? I think I meant bank bags, but sure. Let's say that, shall we? Uh, invitation, quest item, copper ore, we can go and smell that. Oh, we could do that at Tranquilin, quite frankly, because there's a trainer and a stuff at the forge out there, so we don't need to worry ourselves about that too much, do we? The grinding stones in there. Yeah, we'll keep the grinding stones in there. Alright. The reckoning is at We will go and talk to this person in the bazaar. Actually, where the fuck are they? Were they in the inn or something? I should have really read the quest text. Uh, flying on all these magnificent beasts. Let's check this in real quick. Uh, seek out in the bazaar. Just, just, just says in the bazaar. What are they called? Um, Sathrin. Sathrin Azurdon. Tell you what, I've got a macro for this. If I can spell it right. Target. Sathrin. Save. Put that on number four, because why not? And um, we're going to walk around and spam this macro. Uh, <laughs> And when they appear, I'm going to put a giant skull on their face. And are they in one of these buildings? I think they're in one of the side shops, maybe. Can't remember. Let's just walk around and keep spamming and uh, <laughs> find them when we find them. Uh, not in this direction. Ooh. Meal armor and stuff. Are these, the, if this is the people, oh my god. Is there a person doing a shot, like a speech over here that's like, oh yes, I can't remember who they're trying to speak for. Oh, it's there's literally an icon there on the map. I am a silly. Put a skull on their face anyhow, just for good fun. Ta-da! 
Oh dear, and then I think they get arrested, don't they? Hilarious. Hello, General Goods Vendor. I've got some shit for you. Um, did you bring anyone with you to help take it back? She wants all of this, oh dear. Uh, to Sky Mistress Cloak. We will have justice. Okay, okay. You're not certain, but it sounds like something inside might have broken. Let's just hope not, shall we? Let's just be like, nah, nah, probably not. Alrighty, we don't need any of that stuff. We don't need any reagents. Oh, we will do, though. We will do if we want to be a proper paladin. We need reagents at some point, don't we? Oh, no, I'm not looking forward to that. Hang on, what was that one? Do not loiter. 45 gold. It's a quest item. Yay. Is it like a mage class quest item or something? 45 gold. Blooming heck. It's awful. <laughs> the other side. Eh, you got there at the end. The side shops. Yeah, the, you know, the, the side shops. All right. I'm really quickly going to take a five minute break. I'll be back in a few moments. Um, but until then, have the beautiful, beautiful, soothing tones of Silver Moon City, which I'm sure many of you have heard many, many a time. I, I know I definitely have <laughs> role playing on just AFKing in here. I've heard this music way too often and I can never get tired of it. I'll be back in a few minutes, but until then, take care and look after yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okie dokie. <clears throat> I have returned. Right. Cracks fingers. Let's get on with it. I'm back in, Miko. Okay. I'm a little bit out of breath. I was just walking up the stairs and I'm just out of breath from it. Dear me. <laughs> uh, on my bank character, uh, I have the old spell books. <gasps> Books from the Burn Sangs, really? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, is there some... Is there some books that drop from Blackwing Lair that, like, still drop but don't do anything, but still have, like, the classics warrior, you know, the little tag on them? They're a thing, aren't they? Dear me. <laughs> is that Blackwing Lair? It might not be. Uh, welcome back. Thank you very much. I had my first cup of tea a month today. <gasps> it was very tasty. Oh, my goodness. What, what tea was it? Tell me all about it. That sounds so cool. 
Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, yeah, my bags are all right, aren't they? Yes. We are topped up and ready to go. So let's go. Um, back to Scamish's Gloaming. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Oh my god. I love how it says group. Did it did it do that in vanilla or was it just elite? Because I know I've, I've got a few in brackets elite quests. I don't know if it, it said group or uh, maybe that's just the same thing. They, they just changed the wording. I'm not sure. But maybe it did. It probably did. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to pretend to be a source of knowledge on this. Oh, Knuckle Rot and Luzran. Oh my goodness. I remember these beasties. They give me trouble in live, quite frankly, let alone, <laughs> let alone nowadays. Um... Do you know what? They will they ah, scaling. They'll be will they be easier now on because of scaling? I haven't leveled up a character since the new like in Eversong Glory since the, the new leveling eye. changes. I'm interested to see whether they'll be doable be like as soon as you get the quest anything. now because of that, or whether it'll just, they'll always just be uh, quite difficult and you'll need a group more. Interesting. Uh, yes. Let's pop down to Tranquil. That's interesting. That's something I not thought of. Uh, but yeah, in theory, we can out-level these guys. We can get to, like, level... Uh, I don't know what they'll be. Maybe, like, 20 or something? Who knows? And potentially make it... Uh, make it make our lives a bit easier. Um, I have a kill bank full of them. Oh, amazing stuff. Amazing. It was called Forest Fruits. A mix of Swedish forest berries and tea, like a blueberry, lingonberries, blackberries, and so on. Oh, that sounds great. A lot of berries. Mmm. A lovely, sweet, fruity tea. That sounds so good. I haven't actually had a tea in a while. Now that you mention it, I, have had, I haven't had a tea in a while. It's been too warm. It's been too warm to drink tea. I've been drinking a fair bit of iced coffee. But that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, dear. Oh, I need to have some tea. Maybe, do you know what? There is iced tea. I should just get myself a nice tea, shouldn't I? I'll look into it. I should look into it. I should. Alrighty. Do you know what? I should also look into talents as a concept. We have holy, we have protection, we have retribution. I don't know what I want this character to be as like a um, like like end to, like end game question mark like dungeons and stuff. I don't know if I want to like. Oh, there's a little lava running around. Hello. Oh, it's, it's hidden in the bush. Hello. Look. Something's telling me that that animation was not designed to go that fast on a creature that small. Look at that thing. It's just vibrating a lot. <laughs> lava go brrr. <laughs> Right, let's go talk to this person about doing things with things. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I want to be in terms of dungeoning. I'll have to find out, won't I? Increases intellect, increases strength. These are both very good things to have. I feel like those talents will be useful for anyone, regardless of healing or anything. Armor bonus of devotion aura, 160. Oh, God, that haven't we? Good stuff. God, that's good. Devotion was amazing. Wow. Um, damaging melee and range attacks, 10% chance for a key spot. Yeah, we don't like that one too, which is not. It's a load of numbers and stuff, don't really. <laughs> uh, increase the attack power bonus of Blessing of Might. That'll be that'll be tasty. And reduces mana cost of Judgment and Seal spells. Do you know what? I need to spend my points somewhere. I'm gonna put a few into Benediction because reducing mana cost of these two will be good. I know, I remember now when we first got talents and looked at that, I was like, that'll be a good one to have, but we're not getting too low on mana just yet and I want to give myself time to think it through we are now actually needing to drink a couple times so do you know what let's put all of them into that why not fuck it right let's just let's live life like that huh yeah yeah so uh judgment and seal spells cost 12% less mana groovy groovy stuff hello quartmaster I've got some stuff for you uh guess if you said the rest of it will be coming over quickly overland I'll take him at his word well then Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye to you too. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my goodness, no. This person... I could be entirely incorrect here, but does this person not offer you things until you've done that quest? Because you go and get the supplies that, the, that she then sells as a vendor. I could be entirely incorrect there. That could be absolute nonsense, but I feel like that's a thing. <gasps> I would love Let it if that's a thing. That's amazing. Bonus. All right. Quests. Sun Crown Village. It's probably where we should be going first. It tends to be the first one you do in this area, and it's green, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go do it. We are tracking uh, minerals and flight masters. This is good. We have our fist going. Oh, sorry. One second. I'm having shoes returned to me. Thank you, dear. Alrighty. Um, and then we can, I get well, we'll be given another village to wander through and stuff like that. Oh, the troll bits up here, isn't it? It's in a it's in the mountains over here. I don't think we'll be doing that one just yet, can we? 
Um, you can get this Lipton iced tea mixes. I should look into things like that, shouldn't I? I've never really done iced tea much. I should look into it. It's too warm, isn't it? So, <laughs> seems like a good thing to have. Uh, but that's the lava being camera shy. I know, right? I relate to that lava a little bit too much. Uh, <laughs> uh, many, many times I have debated whether I should get myself a little webcam or something and put my face on these streams. But A, that sounds terrifying. And B, that sounds terrifying. And C, that sounds terrifying. And D, I don't think I would be able to get good lighting where I'm at. And also, I did, <laughs> this sounds so stupid, but I tend to stream like in the dark. I'm aware how stupid that sounds, but um, allow me to explain. I tend to stream, well, I stream at night time. It's 10 till midnight, that's my usual hours, um, because that's when I am most free, it's most sensible to do so, blah, blah, blah. Um, but like, we don't tend to, like, I just have a light on, lamp on on the desk, but like, sometimes my boyfriend's sleeping, or like, you know. And I just don't like too many lights on at night time. I just, I just put my, um, my glasses on, my little blue fight blue light to filter glasses and I just have my, my screens and my, my lamp. I don't know, it just I don't want it too bright. Anyhow, <laughs> all of those reasons aside, the main reason is still that sounds terrifying. Hello, dying blood elf. <laughs> oh dear. Unfortunate name. Ah yes, Anok Sutton. Suggested players two or one really fucking cool paladin. <gasps> we can get a one-handed sword called Stung. Wouldn't be uh, related to the weapon uh, that Frodo uses called Sting, would it? No, 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 not at all. I believe that's what it's a reference to. I'm sure it is, isn't it? You can get some... <laughs> Cloth people get trousers. Leather people get trousers. <gasps> oh, I want those. Those have like... Oh, they have tears at the hip. Oh, wow, that's hot. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, I'm jealous. They're short and there's little, like, hip tears. Perfection. Um, and, and male wearers get some fortified oven mitts, which... <laughs> No, not quite as exciting, but nonetheless. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, sorry, Dying Blood Elf. Enjoy your death, question mark. I will go kill a thing for you. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Requires two people. We'll see. Um, you can't sell your... Uh, can't sell your things if he doesn't have any supplies. Very true. That is very, very true. Let's sharpen our sword. Oh, let's sharpen our wooden training sword. Yep. Good, good, good. As intended. Uh, seal of protection and... Uh, scroll of protection, even. Bloody hell, I've been playing Paladin too much. Scroll of protection and scroll of spirit. What do we we have divine protection still, don't we? And blessing of protection and we have another one somewhere. <laughs> Lay on hands. We have that, don't we? Yeah. 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 Let's just get killing. Let's get to the murdering. And if we see the big thing, we can always maybe pop a scroll and see what see what we feel about it. You know, spirit would be bad to have. It helps his mana regen, doesn't it? Sting? What? No, no, no. You mean you mean Stump? The original? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, you're right. I'm sorry. I go, clearly got that the wrong way around. The Hobbit took inspiration from World of Warcraft, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> hello, Narubis cards. Funky seeing you lot around here, isn't it? Maybe up in Northrend or something. Ah, oh, dear me. Do you know what? This must have been so cool for people who like played through Warcraft three. And then WoW came out. Like, like to see this stuff, if you were, like, really into the Welves... In the Welves? Sorry, the what now, bro? Uh, the Blood Elves, there we go. In Warcraft 3. Oh, shit, that's, that's Anok, isn't it? That's the boss. Oh. Level 11 Elite. Do you think we can do it? I'm going to give it my damn best. I think we can do it. I think we've got to try either way. All right, fucking fingers crossed. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to be dead any minute now. I can tell. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, which are you using first? Divine protection or lay on hands? Probably divine protection. No, we should lay we should lay on hands because we can't actually attack once we've uh, done that. We should focus on healing too. One more auto attack. Okay, let's get healing. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, everybody, uh, pray to the light for me. I will need it. I've got healing potions. I should bear those in mind. In fact, that's what we should use next. Yeah, let's use a healing potion next instead of a healing spell. In fact, let's just use it now. We don't need to be potion shy. There we go. Oh dear. Lay on hands, I think, might be our next move, because we're getting qu close to being dead. Not dead, but we're close to killing it, and I'd rather not waste my heal. Not waste my Ah, let's just heal. Fuck it, let's just heal. If we can survive it, but, you know, might as well. Let's not waste our lay on hands. <gasps> we're gonna do this. We're gonna do... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> remember, the, remember the healing version. Thank you. I got it just in time. <gasps> Amazing. Look at us. What a powerful paladin. So powerful, we need to sit down and have a drink. 
Ah, oh, I should have eaten a link steak as well to get me some stamina and spirit. Ah, well, we've got scrolls on. Who cares? <sighs> Hell yeah, we are the coolest paladin ever. Look at us, taking down quests meant for two people. <laughs> I mean, we're 13 and it's 11, but you know. Ooh, thank you very much. Look at us, look at us. The coolest paladin, though. Just readjusting myself in my seat. I should have really got some better water while I was in town, shouldn't I? Ah, well. Ah, well. We'll get some when we get back. Shouldn't have too much of an issue in here, should we? Famous last words. Alrighty, now that big beastie's dead, let's just focus on killing the little ones. We only need seven more, I think. Yeah, I think I want to go inside one of the, the big main buildings, just because I like walking around in them. It's, it's pretty. Hell yeah. Good, good stuff. Ah... <sighs> I feel like a proper paladin now. Like, we used all of our buffs, we shook loads of scrolls on ourselves, we sharpened everything we had, you know. <laughs> used as many buff items as possible, and we just threw ourselves and light-infused hammers at a spider, and it died, you know. It's <laughs> oh, we are the paladin. Goodness me. Do you know what? Going from... Ooh. Oh, that's a dagger. Yeah, it's one-handed as well. Why would, I care? Why would I care about that? I'll sell it for silver, I will. That did feel good. That felt very good. Um, four more to get. Uh, Nerub card. Are there different Nerubis or are they all Nerubis card? Have I been killing? No, they're all called cards, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just sell that for a little bit of a little bit of silver. I will, I will. Ah, good stuff. Our oh, two-handed uh, sword skill is increased. Super. Why are there any treasure chests around here? That's probably the main reason why I love walking around these buildings, because, like, what are these chests in here, you know? I mean, there isn't, but what if there was? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. God, even when they're ruined, these places look cool. I mean, sad, but cool, you know. Oh, wonderful stuff. And some patchwork pants. <sighs> Wonderful. We have been live for uh, one hour and twenty minutes now, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to judge. I do want to hop over to Classic WoW and not show off my warrior, but show you my warrior, and then we can discuss it and be like, ah, oh, yes, here's where I'm going wrong. Everywhere. Um, <laughs> but I don't know how long that'll take us. So like, at some point, we'll pop over there. Maybe like in another twenty minutes or so. But we can always pop over and then pop back. There's no, there's no rush or limits on anything. Is there now? Is there now? I will absolutely have to end stream on the two hour mark though today. There's, we're not going to be able to go over, I'm afraid. It's, it's got to be two hours and go to bed because um, I'm at work in the morning and <laughs> I'm not scheduled to be at work in the morning, but I got a text from my manager being like, so we could just, uh, do, do you think you could lend us a hand and come in a bit early? On, well, not come in early, but you know, come in extra and do an extra shift for us. And I am very weak, so I said yes. The usual stuff. Um, so I will. Uh, I'm, I'm working. I have to get up for work at six o'clock in the morning, and to go go to work for six forty-five. So um, I'm not going to get much sleep tonight. <laughs> oh dear me. But normally, here's the thing: the latest I will ever be working is ten fifteen. That's the latest I can ever work, and I don't usually do those shifts. I only do them like as extras if I'm asked. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons why I stream uh, ten till midnight is because it's like the least affected time regards to my work shifts. You know, if a master work extra, I can still 99% of the time work those. I can still stream at the same time, even though there's extra shifts or anything, you know. Regardless. So, it, it, so if I have to work a, a night extra, I think it did last week, I just sort of delayed the stream by 30 minutes. So that's the most that ever happens to it, really. Alrighty. Let's kill this ghost claw on the way past. Maybe we'll drop a link steak. We might be able to cook with it. Who knows? Bob, Groove Vestov. Ah, look, listen to this music, isn't it gorgeous? It's so sad in here. It's, it's somber in the Ghostlands, but it's still gorgeous in its own way. It really is. Especially when we spent so much time in, like, Eversong Woods, seeing this bright and beautiful, glorious place, and then you go to the dark, scourge, fucked up version, and you really realize, you know, this place was absolutely devastated, and it still the is. Nubilore, Alrighty. Uh, outstanding. Thank you very much. <gasps> Friendly with Tranquil, and that means we can buy the sword. Defeat some Keep ghosts. Yes, yes, yes. But first of all, I've also killed a big spider. Give me some oven mitts, please. Yeah, we don't want the one-handed one, do we? 
Uh, do we? I mean, if we're doing a, if we have a sword and shield as a backup, yeah, but are we using that? Do we really care about a sword and shield as a backup? If we do it, let's put that one there instead. Mm, I'm not using it anytime soon. Let's get the oven mitts. They we will be will a, much justice. more worth to us. We can, if we want a sword and shield, we can maybe think about that later on. If we get any quest rewards that we don't, you know, if if you know, if there's any quest rewards where the one-handed one is the only thing we can really get, or the shield, or you know, anything like that. <sighs> Look at all these quests, tasty, tasty quests. Arthas was a meanie. He ruined so Choose much. Wisely. He really did, didn't he? Culinary crunch. <gasps> Crunchy spider surprise. Crunchy spider legs. Yummy. <laughs> Disgusting, I know, but that's what we have to work with. Keep your wits about it. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. Yeah, they're not an uh, exciting appearance, are they? No, no, no. We don't care about keeping those. Wonderful. I think, yeah, we're, I think we're, um, we are past getting, we're not wearing anything that's particularly unique or exciting looking that I want to care about keeping. So I think from now on we can just sort of throw stuff away with reckless abandon. <sighs> We can get some shoes. We're gonna get some shoes. We're gonna get. I know one of the big things in WoW that people always give as advice to new people is never buy things off, like never buy armor off vendors, because you will replace it near instantly. It's not worth it, you know, all this stuff. And here I am, <laughs> buying things off vendors. Ah oh, well, they're pretty things. Look at the flambers. It's a little bit slower, but it does ten damage. Uh, t ten. It does 29 to 34, 44 instead of 20 to 30. So it's overall a DPS increase and it has intellect and it shoots a shadowy bolt. Hell yeah, look at that thing. You can have my training sword. Thank you very much. I mean, it costs us most of our silver, but... <laughs> look, I'm weak. I will absolutely buy cool fancy things if I am given the option to. Hello, salvaging the past. Uh, crystallize a mana. Ah, it's from the, the mana essences. Yes, 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 from the... There's a place down here? I can't remember the name of it. We probably just told it, but you know. Glory to the Hello, Dame Auriferous? Dame Auriferous? Hello. Uh, kill Tell Sentinels, Ten Sentinel Spies. Ah, Hold yes. The Night Elves and Deathstalker Maltendis. Trouble at the Underlight Mines. Ah, yes, the Knolls at the Mines. I always, I, just, I always forget that there's some Knolls in Ghostlands of all places. It just seems we so weird. Persevere. I always forget. Help Ranger Valana. Is that, um, like, uh, oh, okay, so is that, hang on, where? Uh, waiting for an audience. Dealing with the Shadow Pine Trolls of Zebsora. Yes, that's the bit with the escort quest, isn't it? Uh, to the northeast across Lake Elrond. Okay, it's in that area, it's not quite. Um, Lieutenant mishandled the attack. We lost a lot of fast riders. Uh, fell to pieces afterwards. Oh, yes, it's on that island. I remember that. Time is of the escort. Yes, 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 I remember that. It's sort of... Yeah, there's like a camp here, and there's a there's, a, there's a, the island, and there's a, a quest where you have to go underwater a lot. Ah, I remember that. Oh, you remember a lot, or you do? <gasps> they upped the quest limit. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's it's 20 quests you can only have in classic. Speak quick. Hell yeah, good stuff. Down the dead scar. Kill some shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we can get 25 quests now. That's so cool. Um. Never really understood the quest limit, quite frankly, but, uh, oh well. So what do we want to do first? Everything's yellow. We could go wherever the fuck we want, really. Um, tell you what, I want to go up here. Yeah, we want to sort of go in an area first. We could definitely go over to Goldmist and get those, um, and get the Night Elves, and then get the, uh, ghosty things. But then at the same time, if we're over there, we could just swing by the mines as well, and get that thing, and, like, there's a lot to do in that area, and I want to go to this area first. I want to focus on waddling over here. And I think that will take us to the Fast Rider Lodge eventually. But for now, I want to waddle over here, you know? Let's go in that area. Um, I still have two weeks of vacation. I am jealous. <laughs> um, I've planned my uh, my vacation, my holiday time. Um, I planned it out at the start of the year, I think. And I've got my weeks allocated. And they're all roughly the same length apart. So I'm, I'm sort of... I'm doing... I think it's like... They're all 10 weeks apart, or like 10 or 11 or 9, it's it's all it's all those sort of things. So I do like 9 weeks of work, and then I get a week off, and then I do 10 weeks of work, and I get a week off. And it's sort of, it's spread out evenly throughout the year, so I can get sort of, I have to do it like that, otherwise, I, I just, if I do too much work in too much of a row, I want to cry. Well, I do any out, but that's, yeah, more than normal. <laughs> oh, dear me. Haha, <laughs> capitalism. Let's, let's, let's mine some copper ore, shall we? That'll make us feel better. Yeah. 
I think those ghosts in the ghost ones you the old the old Belf model really do they? Oh my god, I hope so. I can't wait to see them if they do. They do, don't they? I think I genuinely I think I remember that being mentioned somewhere. <gasps> so excited for that. Um Where do we which one is it? Help Ranger of Alan. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the captain's like having a bit of a sad time, like, well, this was fucked up, isn't it? Um and the the range of Alan is like, for fuck's sake, I just <laughs> can you just help me get things done? This guy's not okay. Uh, oh, can we get to the Call of Fame? We'll try our best, but I don't know if we can. Ooh, oh, I can just sneak up it. Yay, of course we can. Easy done. 20 in Classic, 25 in TBC. Hell yeah, what an upgrade. <laughs> Off memory. Did they keep that 25 for the longest time? Like, I don't think it was upgraded past that, was it? It was just 25 for a very long time. It might still be 25, but they don't show it anymore if it is. I remember, I definitely remember in, in, in semi-recent expansions, it was maybe before Legion, um, before we got sort of the, the quest log in the map at the same time, before we got that. I think it still was 25 quests was the limit. Um, and I don't know if it still is. They might have removed it. I hope they've removed it. Um... They really should have removed it by now. <laughs> um, but I think at one point in time it was still there. It just wasn't visible. I think so, yeah. I'll have to look into Well, I probably won't. It's not that important. If I if I ever run into it, it'll be a strange time. But, you know. But especially with some, like, account-wide quests, like some pet battle quests and stuff. It, and, like, I keep a lot of old raid quests in my inventory that are, like, you know, you know the raid quests that are, like, oh, collect four of these things from this from the last boss. And when you kill the last the boss four times, times, you'll be able to skip pass. to them, you know. A lot of those ones. I keep those around. Uh, hello. Um, collect some trolliers. Wonderful. I'm returning to the range. Remember the sun well. And we can do that. Let's go get some trolliers. Um... Where's the... Oh, oh, there's a cave on this island. Has there always been a cave on this island? I do not remember this. <sighs> really? Holy shit, I have no memory of this. Did they change this? Or am I just... Isle of Tribulations, is it a quest? <gasps> is it a class quest thing? I have zero memory of this place. Not a single... There's a cave on an island. This must be a class quest thing. Surely, or a racial thing or something? I have literally no memory of this. It's so cool. It is so cool. I love it with this little, like, brazier in the middle. That's gorgeous. But I... I I'm sure this island is just flat in live. Ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, wow. I didn't think they'd change a thing. It probably does still exist. I just have never seen it before. I'm an absolute... <laughs> All right, let's look out for the shadow bolt that our weapon can send. We're probably not going to see it, but I want to. I want to. Oh, well. We'll keep our eyes open. If we see a shadowy bolt go whoop, as they do, um, we can go, oh, that's cool. It was worth the 40 whatever gold. 40 gold, I mean, 40 silver. Which is about half of our silver. No, more than half, quite frankly. It was it was most of our silver, but it was worth it. We got <laughs> we got a pretty sword, and it goes whoop, every now and then. Or it, it, we're told it will. We don't know if it actually will. Let's head over here and go kill some trolls. Get their ears. There we go. Zebsora trolliers. It's these ones over here, isn't it, right? Yeah, it must be. Must be. Oh, wow. That island fascinates me. I have no memory of it whatsoever. That's so strange. I mean, if it doesn't exist on live, even if it is like a class quest place or something, that's really strange. Because I know they like removed a lot of qu uh, class things. Yeah, we're in Zebsora. Um, but, like, removing the, like, cave attached to that quest is a strange decision, quite frankly. Like, uh, maybe it's not very removed. Maybe my memory is an absolute sieve. Uh, that's actually true. My memory is a sieve, but, like... <laughs> ah, well, we'll find out at some point if we get a quest related to it and I have no memory of it. <laughs> Honestly, after the stream, I know I have to go to bed for... Um, I nearly said school in the morning. That's so sad and hilarious. Um... I now have to go to bed like straight away for um, work, but at the same time, I'm really tempted to log in and be like, "Is there a fucking island here?" Because I have no idea. I, I'm astounded. E, got a trolley here. It's weird that that other guy didn't have an ear. <laughs> There's a man who trolls my weakness. Do you mean these uh, gorgeous chunky fellows? Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? They're <laughs> it's such a classic model, and they are amazing. I love them very much. Ah, oh, dear. Technically, my troll in uh, Classic, my um, my troll warrior, my main, um, is an Amani. 
so they should look more like these guys than they look than, than the dark spear that they currently look like, which is uh, cool. I mean, oh, imagine if we got that. Imagine if we got Amani trolls as an allied race. Goodness me, I would fall in love. Here's a question: Do we think that we're going to get more allied races in the future? I know that they said when they introduced it, they were like, "These are allied races. They might not necessarily be in a a, um, a, shadow, a um, BFA specific thing." You know, we it's a system that is open to expansion in the future. You know, it doesn't have to be. It's not tied to the expansion it, thematically. You know, it could be any time. But they also didn't say, you know, oh, we're definitely going to have more. They were just like, "It's nice that it's a feature that is in theory open." But at the same time. Something they mentioned semi-recently was to do with archaeology. There is no archaeology in Shadowlands, and I think the reasoning they gave for that was, one, it's the Shadowlands, what the fuck would it be, you know, it's... <laughs> but at the same time, um, I think the main reason was they just didn't want to. Like, I think there, there was an article or some sort of interview or something where they discussed, they were like, um... What was the word? I can't have the life me remember. I don't want to misquote it. But it was sort of like they were discussing the idea of like you know when they add the expansion features like archaeology and cataclysm, and they feel obliged to carry them forward. So like they added archaeology and cataclysm, and they feel obliged every expansion afterwards because it's a profession to like to keep up with it. You know to be like all right, well it's a new expansion that everyone gets new things, for new professions. So what does this profession get? You know they have to carry it forward when they add it in. It's it's when they add it in they have to then dedicate the energy and time to it in the future. And they were saying how that's something that they sometimes don't think about at the time. Or, like, they don't fully realise, or they don't... Oh, did we just shadow ball that guy? Or, like, they don't... It's not something that they particularly enjoy. Maybe. I, don't, I could be entirely wrong here, but I'm sure I remember there was an interview or something to discuss this. Um, and that's one of the reasons, or the, the reason why there is no archaeology in Shadowlands. Because, like, it sort of feels appropriate. Like, it's not a, a major gameplay thing. It's not like, you know, anyone's main profession. So it's not like giving it nothing is removing anything from the game it's just not adding anything new it's, it's 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 very much like a secondary gameplay thing it's not you know what am i talking about who knows but um actually what was i talking about to be how did we get onto this discussion allied races that was it so there is obviously the the, the thought to be had that maybe they don't want to you know maybe they're like all right we did that system in theory there's nothing stopping us from adding new ones but like we're happy with it as it is we don't want to add more to it you know I don't know. It'll be interesting to see in the future. Uh, wouldn't mind a proper new new race. That's a true thing as well. I appreciate allied races um, as a thing. That like... I don't know. I, I do appreciate allied races. For one, because you can start to level 10. Is it level 10 or 20? It must be level 10, yeah, because it used to be 20 and then scaling happened, so it must be 10. Uh, I appreciate that you can you know, start a few levels later on, so you can you need to skip the small intro stuff and you, you get your mounts right away, you get your dungeon finder, you know, all the good stuff. Um, I appreciate that, and also I appreciate that they all look cool as fuck, but at the same time I do agree, like, it's nice that they can add so many races because they're allied races, so that they're using other races' skeletons and models and stuff, like, they're not, they don't have to be a brand new 100% dedicated thing, they can just be like, you know, elves, but different, which is cool and funky, and I love that, but at the same time you do you do sort of look at it and go, ah, oh, imagine if these were their own full dedicated race. Like, imagine if Nightborn were just... Oh. See, our races have cool and funky customization, but compared to the, the base races with the overhaul, some of them do not have much customization. Like, Nightborn, classic example. Nightborn don't have much at all. Nightborn men especially, they only have grumpy face. It's so sad, it breaks my heart. They have, like, four hairstyles. It's very sad. So... There's arguments to be made for both sides, right? I, I do... I do miss having new, normal races. That's a very good point, yeah. There's something special about them, you know? And obviously they take more effort, and if you want, like... There's so many potential sub-races or allied races, like, you know, the various trolls and various this and that and the others. There's so many things, but, like... So it's... it's, it's there's the excitement of being like, alright, we could potentially add so many new... So many of these subspecies that people have wanted for so long, you know? But then there's also, you know, they maybe won't get the attention and love that they deserve, question mark? I don't know. Many points to be made for many different sides, and all I can say is it's a good thing I'm not a game designer because <laughs> I would be stressed as fuck trying to think about that. Five years, we're doing alright. Oh, 
At least they string together nicely. Yay? I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but good to note. Information that we now have. God, these guys wear nothing, do they? That's amazing. Look at that guy. Just a sort of vague loincloth. The hint of a loincloth. I didn't look underneath. You didn't. No, no, I didn't. No one did. <laughs> oh, dear. Miss Starling's owns a new mogs and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I miss all that stuff too. Ah, dear. Uh, they did night bombs today. They really did. It breaks my absolute heart. It really does. I've got a night bomb boy and I love him and I would make so many more night bombs. Because I love them and I love their story and I love their aesthetic. I just, it, I just go to create one and look at the models and go, eh, I'm just not particularly enthused anymore. You know, it's... <laughs> So excited for the night And I still am, in a way. I just... Give them all. Give them all, please. Oh, it's so sad. It's... it's It does make me a little bit sad that they are like, you know, night elves, but purple. I mean, that's what they are in theory. There's not, you know, but compared to the NPC models that they were, and... Oh, sad times. Sad times. But, you know what? Understandable times, sort of, you know. The Nightborn weren't designed when they were first added to be a playable race. They were designed to be a cool NPC race, and then... Oh, there's a dead person there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, there's just a dead person floating in the lake. Ugh, I can't resurrect yet, so we don't have to worry about that. I didn't get the fucking... Oh, my God. I'm I'm swimming away with five out of six ears. Dear me. Doi oh, my. Who does that? But, yeah. I think I think what we can take away from this discussion is it's a good job I'm not a game designer. <laughs> because I would be stressed, and I wouldn't be able to make decisions because of that stress. And I admire anyone who does do that. It's, 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 honestly, it sounds like a very, very stressful job. And a lot of people have a lot of very strong opinions on these things without necessarily knowing the full details. And it's just big props to game designers. They make cool shit. And they receive a lot of judgment for it either way. Like, what, regardless of what they do. They can make the coolest shit. They can make something that's not the coolest shit. You know, they always receive so much criticism and judgment and just discussion surrounding their profession, especially from a lot of people who don't know anything about it. You know, it's, it's, and I'm definitely guilty of that. I'm not here to call anyone out or whatever, but you know, I feel like game designers do definitely get a lot of that. Like no one's looking at an architect, no one's looking at a building and saying, well, actually they should have designed these structures differently to do this different thing with weight distribution. Like, you know, <laughs> not a lot of, oh, oh. The Hello. dark times will pass. Not a lot of other professions uh, deal with the same shit that uh, game devs do. Alrighty. Hello. Every year, we, the denizens of Suncrown Village, would take part in a ritual to keep the distant, uh, different aspects of nature under our control. Dominion over the element of water was symbolized by summoning and enslaving an elemental named uh, Aquantian. <gasps> I remember this quest. This is the underwater bit, yes. The is uh, we've got to go. Oh, there's a person here in a guild called Funky Dudes. Amazing. Uh, we have to get some things. Medallions. What were they called? <laughs> the past? No. Culinary approach. Plagued coast. Dead scrap. Investigate this. Forgotten rituals. That'll be it. There we go. Oh. Ooh, I've been, my weaknesses have been exposed. Funky dudes. Oh yeah. Funky as fuck. <laughs> uh, eight way from medallions. More medallions shut like the waves. Seek them at the bottom of the lake. We'll need them to free my compatriot spirits. So are they a quest clickable? They are glistening mud. That's it. I couldn't remember if you looted them off bodies or whether they were uh, clickable things. Or yeah. I think we do have to kill some of the ghosts at some point in time. I could be wrong though. Let's uh, get some glistening mud anyhow. Da 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 da. A wavefront medallion. That'll go nicely next to my trolleyers in my in my uh, <laughs> in my bags. Oh dear me. Troll ears. So sad. It really is. It's a good job Bear's Hearth isn't here. <laughs> he would uh, he would not be having the best of times. Dear me. Oh, there's Funky Dudes having a swim again. <laughs> ah, good stuff. I used to be a guild. Uh, I used to be a guild. Would you like to rephrase that, Brain? No, no. We'll stick with that. Uh, I used to be in a guild um, on, cla on Classic. Classic, Classic, when it first... Uh, came out and I first played it, I was like, oh, this is cool, and I was, um, I thought that ghost just parried my stun, it didn't, it's a ghost, I don't think you can do that, well, probably can, um, what was I saying, ah, I used to be in a guild, um, it was a roleplay guild, well, 
It was on a roleplayer album. It was mostly roleplay people, but you know, we do much roleplay because not many people roleplay in Classic. Um, because if you've got a roleplay, you might as well just do it live, right? There's just so many resources, so many better resources and tools and ways to express your character. You know, you've got a lot more freedom. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was cute. It was nice. There's, I, last I checked, no one had logged on in like 10 years. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit too real, isn't it? Um, I think I've actually left that guild. I don't know why I did. It wasn't active, but I, I had no reason to leave it. It's a bit rude, isn't it? Ah, well, I'm not having the best time with you. are killing all my boyfriends. I'm so sorry. Hey, if it, if it counts, I'm killing all my boyfriends too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we can suffer together. Uh oh This is a dangerous situation to be in. I'm surrounded by ghosty boosties. Ghosty woasties, really, brain? That was the words we got with that bitch. <laughs> oh dear. And pop. Good stuff. I came across a paladin the other day in Well Classic when I was doing my my ore farming. I was running around thousand needles, getting as much ore as I could, filling my bags with it, having a wonderful time. Um, and I actually ran into another character, which is something that has not happened in WoW Classic for a very long time, because no one's playing it anymore, they're all in BC, it's so sad. Uh, <laughs> my realm was low population to begin with, and now it's lowest population, you know, it's it's empty, it's dead, it's so sad. Um, but I ran into another player, they were an alliance paladin, they were running around a thousand needles, I presume doing questing, they were killing, it was in the, uh, the, the roost area, the griffin roost is it? The wyvern roost? Yeah, the wyvern roost, up in this area up here. Oh, hello. In tact by ghost. I say that like it's a novel thing. We're surrounded by ghosts at this point. This is not the first ghost we've defeated. And it will not be the last. But yes, there's a very uh, eager and excited paladin running around uh, doing a lot of... Um, I'll say aggressive pulling, but they were... <laughs> they were running in uh, with reckless abandon. They nearly died several times, and I was running around mining all around them. And they're like level they're an appropriate level whereas for me the mobs are like green and gray so i i occasionally would just see them like struggling in a corner and i would just charge over and you know, use my uh, my taunts and stuff and just be like i'll save you now be sensible next time you know it felt like i was looking after a little kid that was just running around rampaging across um across thousand needles just getting itself in trouble and i would <laughs> i would just waddle on by and just you know smack the enemies and be like now now listen here Yes, I saved you, but I won't be here to save you all the time. You know, look after yourself. <laughs> oh, dear me. What were they called? Their character had a funny name. Can't for the life of me remember. Oh, well. Uh, hello, Ghost, who was called Geranis Whitemon. Geranis Whitemon? Uh, stray arcane forces can do strange, thing strange things to the land, the elements, and even the spirits of the dead. Hello. I've got some necklaces. <gasps> Level 14. Look at us go. So so cute. I believe we can get new abilities now, but we're not we're not heading back to the class trailer anytime soon, let's be honest. We're uh, we're here to quest. Uh that Wilfer Elemental ended many lives that fateful day when he revolted against us. By calling to the lowly Murloc to sabotage our rights, he subverted our magic and turned it against us. Uh, show my first inventions, take these aliens, and lay them in there. Summon him and kill him. Got it. Remember the sun well. Thank you for the beautiful, delicious exposition text. Summon him and kill him. All we needed to know. Ah, yes, the good old water, um, water altar. <laughs> Used uh, many, many times across many, many uh, ocean or lakes or water bodies in Azeroth. Um, just a naga having a fun time, really. It's... <laughs> Ah, oh, dear. I presume it's an agar. It's a serpentine underwater creature. You must assume it's an agar. Hello, Aquintian. Aquintian. Was it you called Aquintian? I mean, you clearly are. <gasps> You're immune to stun, so fuck you. Level 13 as well. You're the most level appropriate enemy we've faced so far. Oh, dear. Frostbolt, more like. Oh, fuck. Bolt. Really? Really? Oh, fuck, Bolt? That was not the. Let's focus on not dying. Let's focus on that, shall we? I need to go get some air before I run out. Because um, that's definitely killed me before, because I forget. <laughs> let's do another heal. Got some potions we should definitely be using. Oh, God. Let's, do, let's just chop. Yeah, let's, let's have a potion. Let's be sensible. Or try to, at the very least. Go on. Die before I have to heal again. There we go. No loot. Boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. Being here against the trolls made me realise that Elf Troll might be my favourite race relationship combos. It's good, isn't it? It's very good. It's it's the, for me. It's the old um, 
enemies to lovers. It leans into that quite a lot because, you know, Our enemies elves and trolls don't get along for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> you have avenged our deaths and broken um, a Quintin's grasp on ourselves. We may Shall finally we rest. Okay. Bye. See you later. Uh, now let's go get rid of these pile of trolleyers, dear me. Dear, dear me. We shall hand in the trolleyers. I don't know if this... I don't know what quest comes after this. I can't remember. I don't know whether it sends us back to Tranquilla or if we go into the, the troll bit. The troll um, tomb. Find out, won't we? We'll find out. We will. Hello. The eternal sun guides Might just be nothing. Us. Might be just like, rah, rah, well done, thanks. Uh, ah, fast rider enclave. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, we can get a shield. Ah, we, we will get that shield because, I mean, it doesn't look great, but nothing else is appropriate for us, so that's nice. Um, just in case the ranger didn't make it, uh, need to go there and get help. Yep. Check in with Captain Helios. Okay. Time is of the and I essence. think I'm gonna leave that quest for now. Yeah, I'm gonna waddle off to. Yeah, we need to do some more of these first. Golden Mist Village area and Roth. Oh yeah, the Sentinel Spies. Yeah, we need to do these first. I think with the, the supplies and everything because they're turning green. So let's do those. Uh, we can talk to Captain Helios later. At another date. It is not important right now. Uh, so to the pass, up to the moon. Yeah, we could probably do... Here's the thing. All of these are, like, over here and then over here. There's just, we've got a lot of quests over here. We've got the Murlocs, we've got the Arcane Bits, we've got the Mines. We've got a shit ton, basically. Um, but I don't know if we'll be getting those done today, because we're getting towards the end of stream now. We've got ten minutes left, I think, so I'm going to head back home. Head back to Tranquilin. Um, find a nice place to chill, to log out. Uh, I'm going to pop into Classic and uh, show off, <laughs> in air quotes, uh, my warrior. Or show my warrior. <laughs> Lovely linen cloth. I don't know why I'm keeping the linen cloth. I really... Do I have a need for it? I mean, it shows up in a few blacksmithing recipes, but it's mostly just sharpening stones and stuff like that, isn't it? It's, um... Metal and stone. Yeah, it's, it's just... Yeah, the weight stones use cloth, but that's about it, really. <laughs> um, back to Tranquil and then. Do you know what? We've got a hearthstone. Might as well use it. <laughs> oh, dear. Especially if we're logging out soon. Yeah, it's an hour cooldown, but do you know what? If we're logging out, it doesn't matter. <gasps> For a second, I thought I hadn't got my friend summoned. I do. Oh, it's so nice to have a little pet following us around. I don't even have a pet on my, um, on, um, on Classic. Dear me. And back to Tranquilin. I love when you teleport and there's no loading screen. That makes me very, very happy. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. All right, I gotta sell our junk to the um, blacksmith in this corner, including our linen cloth. Because quite frankly, business. I'm not gonna bother selling it, and uh, we're not doing first aid, so it's not really a thing we care about. Nah. Bye, bye, linen cloth. You are probably useful to some people, but not me right now. I'm not a tailor, nor am I someone who'll be using it much in recipes. Okey doke. Right. Well then. It's been a lovely little evening. We're not quite, quite done yet, but I'm going to log out of this character and we're going to look at my, um, my warrior. <laughs> so, a good, a good old... I can spell properly. Stand tall. A goodbye from the elf. Oh, bless him. Into your love. Into your love. Take a little screenshot quick for, um... purposes of tweeting. <laughs> and we're going to pop over to this screen here. And we're going to do that. And that'll go blank for a little minute or two. <laughs> Ah, wonderful. I'm going to press this button, this button, and this button, and then... Da -da -da -da, load up our classic. Which should show up, hopefully, fingers crossed, soon. Uh, what are my sound settings on here? Right, let's turn that to... What? There we go, it's showed up. Perfect. This is my troll. He's called Sjal. He's the warrior. He's got currently a dagger and a sword, but we don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> this is my hunter. He's... Uh, I've really enjoyed playing through on this hunter, but I haven't played him too much recently. Let's uh, log into this guy and show him off. Show him off. He's horrendous. It's not worth showing off, but it's it's cute. What was I last doing on this guy? Why was I in Thunder Bluff? If I was in Thunder Bluff, I was probably um, doing... <laughs> ha, PvP. Um, I was probably doing blacksmithing. Oh, yeah, no, I was doing blacksmithing. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I've got a lot of stuff lying around, don't I? Yeah. Okay. So this is my this is my guy. He's cute. <laughs> Kissing Torrin. Probably. That's also probably what I was doing. I only come here to do blacksmithing and kiss Torrin, and I'm all out of blacksmithing. <laughs> Hi, Charles Joel. He says hello to you too. 
Hey. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? What a babe. Uh, he's wearing this armor. Ugh, I recently got my first necklace. Thanks, Nighting. Um, I've got some of the class quest warrior, the, bru the brutal stuff. I've got my brutal hauberk, which increases my rage every hour. <laughs> great, great stuff, great cooldown. Um, a shit ton of ore lying around. Um, and he uses these spells. Wow, these, 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 these hitty things. We've got rend, we've got heroic strike, we've got overpower, thunderclap, which I don't use too often. Uh, yes, demoralize. Yeah, it only costs 10 rage. Wow, I love demoralizing shout. And increases, uh, reduces attack power. Um, for 39 seconds, hell yeah. Uh, I've got, what have I got that buff to? My Fury. I've, it's ranked 3 out of 5, the duration one. Um, I think it maxes out, yeah, 50% duration. So, um, I think the la the longest I can get my battle shout to increase is from 2 minutes to 3 minutes. Wow, I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. But I'm mostly using it for my demoralizing shout, so that's good. Um, got all of these things. I have 3 points in Fury, which is just those, um... The shout one, which increases the area effect and duration of it. I'm mostly in for the duration. I've got one in protection for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I probably misclicked. Um, and then arms is where most of them are, quite frankly. Got all of these big ones. I've got improved red times three. I've got improved heroic strike times three. Improved charge. Generates more rage. Improved thunderclap, which reduces the cost of it. I'm not using it too much, but then... You know, uh, I've got deep wounds, which uh, crits cause them to bleed. That's what it is. I was wondering what that was. I couldn't remember where to find it. Impale. Ooh. Uh, increases critical damage. All right. <laughs> when you're in battle, defensive or berserker stance. You could just say at all times then, because we're going to be in one of those at least. You know. <laughs> oh, well. And two-handed weapon specialization and sweeping strikes. That's what I've got recently. Sweeping strikes. That's a good one. I like that. Oh, that's good. Makes five melee attacks. Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot. Um, and I've, I don't know whether to do anything with mace specialization, sword, or axe specialization. I haven't really looked into those. Axe gives you crit, mace gives you a chance to stun, and swords give you um, a chance to do have, have an extra attack. I don't know which one I'm going to go for. I haven't really looked into what weapons and stuff would be good endgame wise. Uh, and then I've got my mortal strike, which I'm working towards, which I don't... It costs 30 rage. I don't know what I'm going around for that, but you know. What level am I? I am a solid level 36. Oh, dear me. Um, what on earth is my Ew. mess of an inventory at? See, this is my bank. It's full of shit. Uh, can you tell I'm into mining at the moment? Fucking hell, that's so much bronze. Oh, is that even worth keeping around? I don't think I'm going to use it for anything. I might just sell it to a vendor. I genuinely might just throw it at a vendor. Um, I do need to keep the iron, though. The iron's for a quest. What brings you I was talking about earlier. Yes, I need 40 out of 100 iron bars, and I think I now Tell have 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, I have 100. We can write that up. Uh, I've got the grinding stones, the green dies off a vendor. What? I was mine. Like, I farmed all of this ore, and I've still only got one. Um, is it citrine? Or. I don't know how you pronounce it. I've only got one of these gems, and I need it. I need four of them. And I've been farming all this iron ore and stuff, and I've still only got the one. And I'm like, uh, here's the thing I could re resort to buying it off the auction house. I don't think there'll be any on the auction house. Have you done your whirlwind axe quest? I believe I have it. Yes, Cyclonian. I've got this quest, but it's been red for the longest time, and I um, it's just gone to orange. I've been sort of, I've got it. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I, I have it. It's, it's something to work on at some point in time. I need I need life root. I've got a bit of that in my bank. Uh, blood scalp. So that's from Stranglethorn. I haven't been there yet, quite frankly. Um, I don't think so. Ah, it's in. See, I can't even. Last I checked, these mobs that I need for this stuff, the elementals in Arathi, are red for me. I need to, like, oof. I need to avoid those. But if we look at the auction house, um, there are 77 items total on the auction house. It's so sad. It breaks my heart. It really does. It's, it's mostly just a load of greens by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was, a, it was quite a quiet realm before Burning Crusade came out, and here we are. Uh, ooh, oh, there's seven life fruit. Fuck it, I'm buying that. So... Eight silver, well spent. Do you know what? I'm not, oh, 